Welcome to Birchill Field here in Norton, where we have a 12 and under baseball matchup between Easton and Norton. First batter for Easton, number 47, Will, grounds out. So quickly, one down. Next up for Easton is number 21. This is George. Uh, strike is called on the inside corner. Pitching today on the mound for Norton. I believe this is Steven. Two and one the count now to George. A good pitch there and a strike is called. That'll bring us now to two and two. So George needs to be aggressive at the plate anywhere close. Ball high, full count. That one's fouled off, so a good cut there at the plate by George. Steven looking to go right after him now. There's nobody on with one out here in the top of the first. There's a ground ball to short. Picks it up, makes the throw across the diamond to first in time for the out. So that'll go down as a 6-3 to three second out of the inning and will bring up Noah to the plate. Strike is called. Good pitch there on the first pitch to the batter. Ground ball, and that's going to get through the 5-6 hole. A nice attempt there by the shortstop, but it gets by him, and Noah picks up the base hit for Easton. Next up is number 33, Blake. Noah with a pretty good lead over at first to throw over and safely back in. And that's going to get past the catcher. Noah will move over to second on the pass ball. That one outside. <coughs> so a little breeze here today at Birchill Field, making it a little more bearable for them with the humidity today. A strike is called. Good hitters count now, two and one. Another strike call. So Steven looking to go right at him. We got a runner in scoring position on second base. That one popped up. Shortstop calls it up. Able to backpedal and he'll make the catch. So no damage done. No one coming to the plate. We'll be right back. So we're back now. Norton at the plate leading things off for them is number 11, Steven. Steven, the starting pitcher tonight for Norton. Ah! 
Shows bunt, fouls it off. Ball a little high. A little good eye there at the plate. There's a ground ball to second. Throws over to first in time for the out. So that'll go down as a four to three in the first out of the bottom of the first inning. Pitching tonight for Easton. We have Blake on the mound. Now at the plate for Norton, number 10, Nate. He'll take ball one on the first pitch. Two and oh, that one just misses. Again, that one a little bit high, so that'll bring us to a 3-0 count. So, got to be perfect in there now. Nate will be selective as to what he swings at. Uh, he'll pick up the walk, so head down to first. And that'll put a runner on for Norton and bring up Evan to the plate. Evan's starting a shortstop today. And the runner takes off to second. It's hit to short, bobbles it. That'll go down as an error to the shortstop. So Nay had taken off. And Evan puts the ball in play. Shortstop unable to handle that one. We now have runners on first and second with one out. Next up is Dean. Lefty in the lineup for Norton. Oh, rips that one to short, one hopper. Able to throw it over to first. And they get the out at first base, but Nate did not stop at third. He went home and was able to get in safely. So one run scores. Evan gets all the way over to third. This will now bring up a Logan to the plate. Is two down. <laughs> Grounders right back to the pitcher, throws over to first, and that's enough for the third out. So Easton hustles off the field. Norton able to pick up one run in the bottom of the first. We got a one to nothing game here. We'll be right back. So we're now at the top of the second inning. Uh, leading things off for Easton is number three, Bobby. Now if you're just tuning in, Norton was able to push one run across in the bottom of the first. Ground ball to short. And makes the throw across the diamond, a one down. Next up for Easton is number 22, Nathan. Ball outside. Ooh. 
Uh, strike is called. So that'll bring us to a two and two count now to Nathan. That one hit, and second baseman has some good range, able to make the play over at first. So a nice job there. That'll go down as a four to three, second out of the inning. And next up will be the catcher tonight, Ethan. That one popped up, center fielder making a beat on it. Makes a sliding catch, a one, two, three inning. So Easton unable to push any across. Norton coming back to the plate with a one run lead. We'll be right back. So we're back now, bottom of the second inning. Leading things off for Norton is Griff. Fouls that one off for a strike. And a strike two is called. So quickly ahead in the count. Ball inside. Uh, strike three, that'll be the first out of the inning and bring up Kevin to the plate. A good cut there on the last pitch. Uh, strike is called right down the middle of the plate. So Kevin looking to put the ball in play. Nobody on with one out here in the bottom of the second. That one outside. Ooh. So one and one count now. Uh, strike is called. Uh, one and two now to Kevin at the plate. That'll be aggressive now anywhere close, trying to get the ball in play. Let the defense make the play in the field. Strike three, it's a drop third. He's gonna run down to first. They make the throw and out is called. And next up at the plate, number four, Kim. Uh, strike thrown on the first pitch. Ball outside. Uh, big cut there for a strike. Looks like he pulled his head out a little bit, so got to see it right off the bat. Uh, strike three, another drop. And they'll throw that down to first for the out. So one, two, three inning. Norton unable to push any across. They got a one to nothing lead. We'll be right back. So here we are now, top of the third inning, leading things off for Easton is Hunter. Ball outside. A 
Another one just outside. Uh, strike is called. Oh, strike called as he tries to duck out of that one. And that one lying right back to the third baseman for the out. Uh, one down, this will bring Mikey to the plate. Strike one. Uh, quickly, 0 oh and 2. There's a shot that's going to get down to the outfield and a base hit for Mikey. So right up the middle. Easton now has a run and run first with a one out and this will bring Travis to the plate. Throw over to first. Safely back in. All outside. Mikey with a good little lead, and he's going to take off. The throw down to second, and not in time. Nice slide, pop up slide into second. Um, Mikey is safe. He'll pick up the stolen base. So Travis looking to move things around. Mikey in scoring position at second with. Only one out. Takes a ball high. Uh, swing and a miss for a strike. Gets caught up between second and third, but he'll have to retreat back to second base. Ball high. So he'll pick up the walk. Now we got runners on first and second. With one down, this will bring Dylan to the plate. A uh, strike is called. Oh, and they're going to get a run down here. So a player from Easton not paying attention. There was a runner on second base, and he was trying to steal. So two down now. Mikey was able to move over to third on that play. That one popped up. Shortstop makes the call and the catch. That'll be the third out of the inning. Easton unable to push any across. Still a one to nothing ball game. Norton in the lead. We'll be right back. So we're back now, bottom of the third inning, leading things off for Norton is Cam. He takes ball one, steps back in the box. Mm -hmm. 
fouls that one off. So one and one count. That one just a little outside. Uh, takes a swing at that. A little delayed call there by the umpire behind the plate, but nonetheless, that is a strike. Two and two. Strike three is called, so Cam will go down looking. That'll be the first out of the inning, and we'll now bring up Donnie to the plate. And there's going to be a base hit that gets over the second baseman's head out to center field. So Donnie picks up the base hit. And this will bring us back to the top of the order. So Steven stepping into the batter's box. He grounded out to second his first at bat. So we'll see if he can move Donnie around here. There's a ground ball back to the pitcher. He bobbles it. He's going to have to make the play to first and able to do so for the out. Next up is number 10, Nate. Ball outside. So Nate trying to keep things going here for Norton. We got a runner on second with one, uh, excuse me, two outs. Ball that gets by the catcher and the runner moves over to third. That one fouled off. It gets by the catcher and the runner takes off. Out at the plate. So trying to sneak one across. The ball gets past the catcher. He's able to get it and make the tag. So three outs. Easton coming to the plate. We'll be right back. So we're back now. This is Will to lead things off for Easton. Takes the ball a little high. Again, a little up in the zone. So two and one count. Ground ball to first. That gets by him. So base hit, and I apologize, this was Cooper at the plate. He's the last one in the lineup for Easton. He picks up the base hit. And now this will bring us back to the top of the order, Will. Will ground it out to the pitcher, his first at bat. Runner takes off. The throw down to second. That gets out to the outfield and a good backup there by the center fielder. So stolen base picked up by Cooper. Uh, 
strike. And that ball's hit out to left field. That's gonna get down a one hopper. They're gonna wave the runner around. And a run will score for Easton. Will scoots over to second base. We are all tied up at one. Next up is George. Ball outside. Ball high. Nice job by the catcher there. Behind the plate, keeping it in front. So Easton's got a run around second base with nobody out here in the top of the fourth. Uh, swing and a miss for a strike. <laughs> and that's going to get down for a base hit again to center field. Center field defies it right to the catcher. He's able to keep it in front. That'll put runners on the corners for Easton with nobody out. And this will now bring Noah to the plate. It looks like the coach is going to head out and talk to Steven on the mound. The catcher will come out, make sure they're both on the same page. So it looks like they're going to move some people around. We'll be right back. So we are back now. There's been a pitching change for Norton. They brought Nate into the mound. Uh, first pitch to uh, Noah. Called a ball, and George was able to move over to second. So Easton's got runners on second and third with nobody out. So Nate relieves Steven here in the top of the fourth. One-to-one -one game. There's a ground ball that gets to second base, flips over to first in time for the out. One run was able to score. This is now the pitcher, Blake, at the plate. Runner takes off to third. There's the throw. Not in time. Safely slides in. That'll bring us now to a two and one count. So good hitters count here with a runner on third. One down. Takes a ball a little high. Oh, Nate needs to bear down here. Three and one count. And a nice pitch there for a strike. That'll bring us now to a full count. That one outside, so Blake will pick up the walk. Again, this will put runners on the corners for Easton and bring up Bobby to the plate. <coughs> mm -hmm. 
Runner takes off to second, no throw. A strike is called on the outside corner. A good pitch there by Nate. That one high, that's gonna bounce off the backstop, but right back to the catcher. So George wisely stays over there at third. Uh, swing and a miss for a strike. And strike three is called. So a good pitch there by Nate on the outside corner. Bobby goes down licking, uh, look, looking. That's the second out of the inning. And this will now bring Nathan to the plate. Nice pitch there on the first pitch to this batter for a strike. Nathan trying to bring these runners in. Runner stays at third. Nice coverage there by Nate into the plate. Uh, strike is called. Good pitch there by Nate. So trying to get out of this. With no more damage. And a nice pitch. Able to get the batter on swinging. That's the third out of the inning. But not before Easton was able to push two runs across. They've taken the lead. Two to one. We'll be right back. <coughs> so we're back now. This is the bottom of the fourth inning. Norton at the plate. They're down two to one against Easton. This is Nate to lead things off for them. Uh, strike is called on the outside corner. Ducks out of that one for a ball up high in the zone. So Nate trying to get things started here for Norton in the bottom of the fourth. There's a ground ball, goes off the pitcher's glove. Shortstop able to get the glove on it. And that'll bring the first baseman off the bag. So Nate safe down at first. Next up is Evan. Throw back over to first, safely back in. Takes off. That one goes past the catcher, so able to get into second base. Runner takes off to third, slides in safely. He pops right up and heads home. 
And that'll tie the game at two, folks. So good base running there by Nate. Ball outside. So Evan trying to keep things going here. There's nobody out. Nate was able to just cross the plate, tie things up at two. Ball outside. So Evan picks up the walk, puts a run around first base. This will now bring Dean to the plate for Norton. Pretty good lead there by Evan at first. And he takes off. Pitches outside. They make the throw down to second. Able to slide in safely. So he'll pick up the stolen base. And takes off to third, slides in, and he is called out at third base. Uh, big cut there for Dean for a strike. That one gets past the catcher. And a big swing there for strike three. So that will be the second out of the inning. And now bring up Logan to the plate. So we'll see what happens here. A runner getting thrown out at second, trying to, uh, excuse me, at third, trying to steal. Might have been costly for Norton. Ball high. Takes the ball, that one in the dirt. Ground at a third, picks it up, throws all the way across the diamond. And five to three is the call. No one able to push one across. We're all tied up at two. We'll be right back. So we're back now. This is the top of the fifth inning. Leading things off for Easton is Ethan. 
Takes the ball high. Gets him to chase that for a strike. Two and one. That one filed off. That'll bring us to a two and two count to Ethan. So Nate goes right at him, able to get the strikeout on the first battle looking. Next up for Easton is number 10, Hunter. Hunter lined to third base his last at bat. And a strike is called. That's a ball low in the dirt. One and one. Big cut there for a strike. So Nate ahead in the count here. One and two. Gets him to chase. That one gets past the catcher. Drop third. They'll throw down to first. Makes the out. This will now bring Mikey up to the plate. Mikey had a base hit his last at bat. <coughs> Ball high. Uh, big cut there for a strike. One and one. That one's fouled off. That one's just a little high in the zone. Strike three. So Norton with a one, two, three inning all on strikes. No runs pushed across. They're coming up to the plate. All tied at two. We'll be right back. We're back now. Bottom of the fifth inning. Leading things off for Norton is Griff. Takes a ball inside. And it looks like that hit Griff, so he'll head down to first. So that'll put the lead off a runner on first base and bring Kevin to the plate. So let's see if Norton has some heads up base run in here. Don't want to take themselves out of an inning. Fouls that one off. Goes after a low pitch out of the zone. Ball high. Uh, 
Uh, Griff gets back to first. No throw made over there. And the runner takes off. Able to go in standing up for a stolen base. A uh, big cut for a strike. The runner takes off, able to get into third. And Kevin strikes out, so that'll put a runner on third base with a one down and bring Cam to the plate. So again, with a runner here in scoring position, they're gonna have smart base running. See the ball through in the infield. Takes a big cut on a high pitch. Ball high. Ball outside. So good eye there by Cam at the plate. Just needs to try to get it through the infield to pick up the run here. That one's fouled off. A big cut for the strikeout and a drop third. He was able to pick up the ball and make the tag. So two down, this will bring up number two, Cam. Ball inside. Strike is called. So it might not have been a bad idea when they had a runner in scoring position with only one out to potentially lay a bunt down and make the defense make a play, but they let the hitter hit. We got two strikeouts in a row, and now Cam at the plate, the number eight batter in the lineup with a runner on third. Excuse me, the number nine batter in the lineup. That one's fouled off. Strike three is called right down the middle of the plate. And he was frozen there. Third out of the inning, no run score. We'll be right back. So we are back now. There has been a pitching change for Norton, number 30 now on the mound. This is Kevin. Leadoff hitter for Easton is number two, Travis. First pitch is down and out for a ball.
That one's fouled off. One and one. Again, outside. So two and one count now to Travis. And ball four. So leadoff batter on on a walk. This will now bring Dylan to the plate. Looks like Norton has Dean warming up in the bullpen, which is actually the sidewalk. Oh, that one gets out to the outfield. And a nice little slide. Travis pops right up and gets all the way to third. So now no an infield need to keep that runner at third base. Anything hit to the infield. Don't let that run a score. There's nobody out. Dylan popped out to shortstop his last at bat. There's a pop up that's on the right side. Uh, excuse me, left side and foul out of play. Uh, strike three, so a big strike out there. This will bring up the bottom of the order for Easton, Cooper. Cooper had a base hit, and he's scored one of Easton's run tonight. Ball outside. There's a hit that's going to get down out in center field, and a run's going to score. So Cooper with a base hit and an RBI. This will now bring us back to the top of the auto. Will come into the plate. Ball outside, throw down to first, safely back in. Nice stop by the catcher behind the plate, keeps that in front. A uh, strike is called, so good pitch there by Kevin. Runner takes off. The throw not in time, safely slides in.
Ball four. So run is now first and second for Easton. One down here in the top of the six. George coming to the plate. Looks like Norton's going to call a timeout, and they just might make another pitch and change. We'll see what happens. We'll be right back. So we're back. Looks like they've opted to leave Kevin in there. He's going to face George now. Easton's got runners on first and second with one down. Ball high. And the runner takes off safely into third. So double steal. Runner's now on second and third. And Cooper had a pretty good jump there from second base. Ball outside. Now 3-0. Inside, that'll be ball four and load things up for Easton. This now brings Noah up to the plate. Puts that one in play. That's going to get past the shortstop. One run's going to score. They're going to wave a second one in. Left fielder held on to the ball. They might have had a shot at home. Two run score. So Easton now with runners on first and second. Still only one out. Ball high. Runners now move over to second and third. A strike is called. Ball high. That one gets past the catcher, and runners are going to stay. So good hustle behind the plate. Nice stop by the catcher. They're going to throw down to third. There's a play at the plate. And safe at the plate on ball four. That's always a tough one they throw in behind the runner. He was able to get across the plate. Easton picks up another run. So this now again puts runners on the corners and there's going to be a pitching change. No, and we'll now bring in number nine, Dean. He'll take a few warm-ups. We'll be right back. So we're back now. Bobby at the plate. Runner from first takes off. They throw down to third. Safely back in.
A uh, nice pitch there by Dean for a strike. So he takes over the pitching duties with one out. Easton was able to push four runs across already here in the top of the six. Ball low. A strike is called. So a strikeout looking for Dean as he comes in and takes over the pitching duties. That's two outs, and it'll bring up Nathan to the plate. Good pitch there for a strike. So Nathan grounded out and struck out so far in this game. He's going to try to get the ball in play here for Easton with runners on second and third. A strike there. Uh, kind of a check swing there, but looks like we've got an 0-2 count now against Nathan. Dean looking to go right at him. Ball high. Looks like he tried to throw in a chaser there a little bit high in the zone. Uh, strike three, so a nice job by Dean as he comes in, takes over the pitching duties, picks up two strikeouts, but not before Easton was able to push four runs across. They're in the lead, six to two. We'll be right back. So we're back now, folks. This is the bottom of the sixth inning. Leading things off for Norton is Donnie. This is the bottom of the order for them. Just tuning in, they're down six to two. Uh, big cut there for a strike. Quickly, 0-2. Uh, strike three. This brings us back to the top of the order. Steven at the plate. This is Will on the mound for Easton. So both teams have used a few pitches here tonight. That one popped up, and the shortstop makes the play. Two down. <laughs> Next up is Nate. Ball low and outside. So Nate. Had to walk his first at bat, and then he had a single. He was able to come across the plate for Norton, one of their two runs tonight. Ball outside. So Nate looking to get something started here with two outs in the bottom of the sixth. And looks like he's going to be hit by a pitch. Hustles down to first. Not happy about that. Next up is Evan. And runner able to take off into second base. So Nate in scoring position now for Norton.
There's a little dribble head down to first. First baseman able to pick it up, step on the bag. And that will be it, folks. Easton over Norton tonight here at Birchall Field, 6-2. to two. You can catch this and all the events on NortonMediaCenter.org. This has been Deb Carrero alongside Jamison Haig today. Thanks for joining us.